Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Nextcloud with MariaDB on COS OS. Th this makes it where you can use MariaDB instead of your SQLite, which is default. So, um, so a little bit about this series um, is I'm going over a home lab, so we're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down to our Big Bear community and join our Discord. And let's get started so now we're going to need to install MariaDB and you could do it on the App Store but I prefer to do it uh, to where I import my Docker Compose because I get full uh, full access to the environment variables. So I'm going to go over to my Big Bear Video Asset. There will be a link down in the description so you can get to it. I'm going to go to how to install Nextcloud on MariaDB right here. And then I'm going to go to MariaDB Docker Compose. And then I'm going to, um, this is a Docker Compose, uh, a, a comp Compose version of 3, so version 3. And then I'm gonna set services. I'm gonna be in MariaDB service. I'm gonna name it that. I'm gonna get the image from Linux server MariaDB and the latest tag. And then I'm gonna set a container name called MariaDB. I'm gonna set some environment variables. So the uh, user group IDs are 1000, 1000. The, ta uh, the time zone is whatever your time zone is. And then I'm gonna set user and password. You can change these if you'd like. I'm gonna set default database of Nextcloud. And then I'm gonna set volumes. So data, MariaDB, and then in the containers config. So you can change this if you want to, that's on the host. And then in the ports, I'm gonna uh, map 3306 on the host to 3306 in the container. And then restart unless stopped to where if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And now I'm going to go over there and to install it on my COS OS. So now that I've explained the Docker Compose to you, I'm going to go and install MariaDB on my COS OS, my Zoom board. So now I'm going to go into App Store right here. Then I'm going to go up here to the top right and custom install. Then I'm going to go here on import because I'm importing the Docker and post in there to fill out this form. So now I'm going to paste it in this text area. And then I'm going to say submit. Okay. And then now it has this. Oh, I'm going to give it a title. And then I'm going to go back over to my Big Bear video assets. I'm going to go backwards. Then I'm going to go to this MariaDB icon right here. Then I'm going to copy it. Go back over to my COS OS. I'm going to paste it in. And then since there's no UI listening on this port, so I'm not going to put that in there. I'm going to go ahead and for some reason this is done that so I'm going to put MariaDB inside there then I'm going to scroll down here so everything else looks good so I'm going to uh, say install now I'll continue in background Then we have the MariaDB up and running now. So now we'll move on to get Nextcloud installed. So now I'm gonna go in my Big Bear Video Assets right here. It's gonna be a link down in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and go to how to install Nextcloud and MariaDB on COS OS right here. Then I'm gonna to go to Nextcloud Docker Compose. And then I'm gonna start with Docker Compose version three. Then I'm gonna add services. And then the service underneath is Nextcloud. And then I'm gonna have an image, so it's coming off of the Linux server. 
uh, Nextcloud and then the latest tag. I'm gonna set a container name, so that'd be Nextcloud. Then I'm gonna set environment variables. So for, for the file permissions, a user group IDs are 1000, 1000. And then time zone, whatever your time zone is, set it right here. Then I'm gonna set volumes. So data, Nextcloud, app data, and then config inside the cont container. So this will sync back and forth. You can change the host pa path right here. And then the host path on here is data, Nextcloud data. And then on the container side is data. Then I'm gonna set ports. So I'm gonna set 443 and then 443 in the container. So host and container. Then I'm gonna set a restart policy. So unless stopped, that means that so so if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it if it fails for any reason, it will still try to restart. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go to Mikasa OS and install it. So now I went back to Mikasa OS. So I'm going to go into my app store right here. I'm going to go to custom install up here. And then I'm going to go to import. I'm going to paste on uh, what I had the Docker compose. I'm going to submit. And then I'm going to name it next cloud. Then I'm going to go over to my Big Bear Video Assets. I'm going to go backwards. Then I'm going to go to Nextcloud icon right here. Then I'm going to paste in the icon URL. I'm going to set 443 as the web UI port. Then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to put Nextcloud in. And then I'm going to put data in. So that's where Casa wants you to store your data at. So now I'm going to say this is about done. So I'm going to say install down here. I'm going to continue in background. It'll take a bit to install because it's got to download it off of a Linux server. That's downloading a newer image. And now we have it installed. So let's see if the UI works. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna go to settings. Then I'm gonna change the web UI to HTTPS. And then I'm gonna save. And then I'm gonna go in open now and see if it works. Okay, now it does work. So we can get to setting up the UI. So now we're gonna set up the UI and get it working. So I'm going to go ahead and put a username in. And then I'm gonna put a password in. And then now I'm gonna to go to storage and databases right here. Instead of SQLite, we're gonna use MySQL. And then I'm gonna put a database user in, which is mine's Big Bear. Yours could be, be different. So now I'm gonna put my password in. I'm gonna put my database that I want Nextcloud to be in. So Nextcloud is the database name. And then I'm going to put my Cos OS IP address in. Okay, now I'm gonna say install. So, where uh, if you get stuck on the setup, you need to refresh the page and then um, go uh, go back in through the Cos OS and get to your login page. So now I'm gonna put in my account name, the one that you uh, put put in on the setup, and then I'm gonna put a, my, my password in of what I used on the setup. And now I'm gonna say log in. Okay, now we're up and running and you can see there's files so we can look at those. So 
we got it up and running and next cloud is on cos os using MariaDB. so now if you go through table plus you, you put your cos os ip address in your user or whatever you picked and then your password to it and then you just say test and see if it's working and then now i'm going to connect right here and i'm going to um Go ahead and move this over. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and expand this a little bit. And then now I'm going to go ahead and go to Next Cloud. And you can see all the tables that it created. So it looks like it is working. So we got it up and running. So I just walked you through step by step on how to get Next Cloud running on MariaDB. This made it to where you can have a centralized database just for Nextcloud, and you can ha you can create another database uh, for another app if you want to. So, uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you, you need support, you can go down to Big Bear Community and join our Discord. And stay tuned for more.